When we were fishing the Pitt River a few years back, Nick Didlick showed us a fly that he named after his daughter, and he called it the Kelsey Soap. This fly has been awesome for all types of salmon. Make sure you have these materials ready before you tie the fly. For the hook, we're going to use a Mustad C70 SD size 2. We we'll use some UTC 140 black thread to tie with, some silver tinsel for the body. For the body cover, we'll use some 14 pound mono, some rainbow polar flash for the underwing. For the midwing, we'll use some green polar bear hair and some blue polar bear hair for the overwing. I started by tying my black thread. Now I'm going to take some silver tinsel and tie it in, and we'll use this to form the body. So we'll just tie it in good and put that back for the body later. Now I'm going to take some 14 pound mono and we're going to tie it in and this is going to be used for the body cover. And what I mean by a body cover is it's just going to protect the tinsel from the fish's teeth. So we'll tie that in, move our thread forward. Now I'm going to take my tinsel and start wrapping forward to form the body. And we'll just cut off our tinsel. And now I'm going to take my 14 pound mono and just wrap it tightly over the tinsel. Now you don't want any gaps here. You want to make sure your tinsel is well covered. So make sure you don't leave any gaps. Take some rainbow polar flash and measure it up and make sure it's about a half an inch past the hook bend and tie it in for the underwing. Take some green polar bear hair for the midwing. And we'll just tie it in again and make it just slightly longer than your underwing. And tie it in at the head. Now, take some blue polar bear hair again, measure it up just a little bit longer than the green polar bear hair as the midwing. Cut it to length. And now we're just going to tie that in as the overwing. And once the blue overwing is tied in, I'm just going to tie a fairly big black head on the fly. We want a nice distinctive head on there. We're going to do a whip finish. And this is one fly that I like to head cement. So after we do our, our two or three whip finishes, we'll cut off our thread and give it a quick head cement because that will actually make this head stand out and shine a little bit. And there it is, the finished Kelsey's Hope. You know, this pattern has proven itself time and time again, and not only for coho, but for Chinooks and for pink salmon.